the one by you that I want to be by. On a dusty old trail, a no. young cowboy sleeps in the air. Signs across the plain. The ruthless intentions of an ill fate seem to always end it this way. Here we are. This is Puff Puff Bass. Um, we're about to go hit up one of the local honey holes. Uh, the sun is just arising, and it is a day with no work today called off because we're going to PA later this afternoon for a three-day weekend um, so I decided since I do not have to be at work at 8 a.m. I will get up at 6 right about the sunrise 603 and uh, go try one of the local honey holes like I said the Sun is just rising now uh, says technically 603 it's actually 557 right now I'm hoping to be out there on the water by 6 Gas is cheap. Thanks, Obama. So yeah, like I said, it's about 6:10 now. We're about 10 minutes from the spot. Um, we're heading up to Pennsylvania again this weekend, uh, Venango County. We're gonna be fishing on the uh, Allegheny River again for some smallmouth and whatnot uh, at Uncle Dom's cabin. Hopefully, I can start off the weekend right. Uh, it's pretty clear out. Like I said, it's a little cold. It says it's about 43, so right below 50, let's say, because uh. This thing's always a couple degrees off. Um, I was gonna go hop some of these private ponds that I try to poach once in a while, but I didn't think six in the morning is really a good idea for that. Uh, it's fished quite a bit, but like I said, there are known to be trophy bass in here of 10 pounds plus. Uh, I've caught maybe a few out of here. I never really fish it, to be honest with you, because I know the pressure fishing is on, but so yeah, like I said, 43 degrees, 608. I've always wanted to poach this pond right here, but it's a stiff golf course, like country club. Like not Caddyshack, but like worse than Caddyshack, like modern day Caddyshack type things. That's an Italian horn for good luck. And an Arab thing, because my grandparents are Arab and I'm Arab and stuff, so yeah, Arab swag. Well, we have arrived. 6.11, so I should be on the water here by 6.30, pronto. Got my rods, my bag, my boots. Uh, I gotta decide which planos I'm gonna throw in here today. And then uh, we will get out there. Uh, got a little bit of a hike and some forage to do, but should pay off, I'm hoping. We're gonna get on the road here now. Okay. 6 a.m. Just south of Cleveland. It's 45 degrees. It's gonna be a cold one, boys. So this little river flows out of the lake. This is actually the north branch of the Rocky River. It flows all the way into Lake Erie. So I'm going to hike in. It's about a mile or so to this lake, uh, but on my way back, um, I hope I have a tube jig. Or I can run to my car. It's not that far from the car. I might throw a tube jig in there, see if I can catch the uh, stray spawning smallmouth. Got to respect the birds. Once again, I am your host, and the founder slash entrepreneur but not the only contributing member shout out to everybody involved big time here at puff puff bass appreciate all you guys that have gotten in on the channel and uh, subscribed and you know reached out sent us pics wanted info blah 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 everyone is welcome people are reaching out too so keep it going uh, we're gonna start doing some giveaways here in a little bit hopefully pick up some more of these small sponsors and uh you know keep bringing you guys good content so Again, I'm Mule. Thank you guys, Puff Puff Bass. So this lake is pretty big. It's about 200 acres. And there's a path that goes all the way around. There's actually a marina over way on the other side. That'd take about 25 minutes to walk to. Uh, I'm gonna jump in right down here and fish along this wood. We're bushwhacking. I'm following a path. But it's pointing in the direction I wanna go by that bank I was just showing you guys. And spider webs. This could also be a deer path, but I doubt it. Oh shit, I hate these things. Let's see where this is going. Uh, a little bayou that I want to be by. Oh shit, just got really thick really quick. 
that's what she said. Okay, so that was a terrible judgment call. Yep, 625 on the dot. It's about 48 degrees. I'm seeing all kinds of top water action. I'm trying some crankbaits right now. I'm gonna throw the frog on here in a minute. I'm gonna try a drop shot or shaky head too. Um, but this spot looks ideal right now. These are the best conditions I've ever seen, so I'm gonna keep getting them out there. Like I said, this lake is really big. I could walk probably another half mile down that way. So see what I'm working with this morning. Uh, I'm an idiot. Since we're going to PA for smallmouth tonight, I packed my smallmouth primary box in my fishing bag not thinking I was gonna come out this morning. Uh, so I got some hard baits here, some spinners, some swim baits. Uh, my primary, you could say, large mouth box. Uh, and instead of grabbing my soft plastics and other secondary large mouth box, like I said, I grabbed my small mouth like an idiot. Um, a lot of foliage out here, so I'm trying to avoid the treble hook now. And I have, if any at all, very uh, non-favorable, let's say, soft plastics to use for large mouth. So I'm gonna maybe throw on uh, some of these Northland Tackle swim baits, bluegill, try the mini walleye, because there are walleye in this lake, and uh, see what I can do. But like I said, with all this foliage and these pads starting to come up now, um, I'm in the prime spot, and I grabbed my wrong soft bait box. So I guess that's what you get when you have like eight planos in your trunk and are in a rush in the morning. Actually, no, I forgot the Starbucks. I got the juice right here. I forgot my coffee, so. I did also bring my favorite frog. Blue skies use black, black frog. I'm going to throw on the little Berkeley minnow swim bait. As you can see, little jig head through the back on the minnow, and we are going to swim him slowly in and around all these pads and vegetation there if it'll focus. If it'll focus, there we go. I'm gonna throw him around in all these pads and vegetation. And after all that tying, I broke my line second cast. I don't know if it was a lily pad that I tugged too hard on or if something snapped it, but rod bent down, I set it, and it broke. So, uh, so far today's been a bust. Forgot my box, lost my bait, 40 minutes in, one probably not bite. So I'm thinking that was a fish story. Just got snagged up really bad again, and then it went into a tree as I tugged it out. So it's been a solid hour, no bites yet. I'm gonna give it a few more and uh, might just be calling it quits because sometimes you can't get them. Sometimes you're just warming up. Sometimes things just don't go your way. It's a perfectly ideal morning. Any other morning I would, you know, dream to come out here at this time and catch a fish, but uh, we'll see what we can do, so. So to continually uh, add to my problems, I was in a rush right there to string this line back up. When I went to go cast it, I noticed something was a little weird. And of course, I thought that it was through the top eyelet, this line right here, through the wrong eyelet. I threaded the whole damn lure and line through the second eyelet, not the top eyelet. So I think I'm about to call it quits here. Got to untie and then retie again. No fish yet. Over an hour deep. So here we are. It's about 7.30 now. Been here for an hour and a half. Got here, grabbed two of the wrong planos out of my trunk. So out of the three planos I have, two of them are essentially useless to me right now. Forgot my coffee that I just grabbed. Snagged and broke off one lure within two or three casts. Got snagged up again on some pads, yanked it out. I got hooked up in a tree real fast. And then in a rush to tie up a new bait again, I tied it through the second top eye. Uh, I tied it through the second top eyelet instead of the top eyelet. So I'm gonna call it cut my losses. Head to McDonald's breakfast and. Uh, we will see you guys later this evening. We're probably gonna do another weekend edit for Pennsylvania, uh, similar to last weekend's. If you haven't seen last weekend's PA edit, you should check it out. Uh, some nice smallmouth bass and walleye on the Allegheny. Um, so yeah, um, probably do a whole nother weekend edit and uh, see you guys probably Monday night, if not Tuesday. So I'll upload this today before we go and uh, puff puff bass, just not my morning today. Probably the worst day of fishing ever. I mean, it really is so beautiful out here this morning. You can't even tell that this is like a public park. 